So welcome back everybody to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing this huge box from the cubicle.us. So this box contains over 10 cubes, I think, <laughs> and uh, they're worth uh, over $200. So that is amazing. And this is going to be the biggest main uh, cube upgrade unboxing. Because mainly all of these cubes are speed cubes and that is really really cool. So let's get right into it. Let's take my, uh, my knife and let's cut it open. Okay, that's, that's not working. My hand. Alright, so first we have this beautiful paper from the cubicle.us and I think this paper cost it the most. And our paper, how awesome! So now, let's start with the cubes. Okay, so I think I have two cubes that aren't uh, WCA event cubes. Uh, so first off, we have the Moyu Ready Cube. And uh, this is a cube uh, that is scrambled and solved only by ro rotating corners. And uh, let's just open it really quick. Okay, first impressions. It is way bigger than I expected and it turns, well, it turns really bad, <laughs> badly. Uh, as you can see, it has some beautiful shades and you can scramble it by just rotating the corners. Cor corners. And uh, I've gotta admit, it turns way worse than I expected, than I expected but I think it's going to be pretty fun to solve this cube and uh, I just ordered this for fun. Next up we have the Moyu uh, Master Morphix and uh, so this is a 3x3 three three shape mod I think and uh, oh wow the shades are actually really nice. As you can see this is the center and these are the pieces that move around the cube and uh, yeah this one also turns quite bad it, well it's smooth but maybe I can well it's it's not as smooth as I, ex ex I expected but it's 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 turnable I guess um, this isn't a speed cube or, an, or anything so you don't need it to turn like a boss but just a really cool puzzle so next up we have the cubicle uh, mat and uh, I really wanted this for a long time and okay it's upside down uh, because I've been solving cubes for quite a while and my, when I drop my cubes they kind of tend to uh, make a lot of noise and this is just for, for the smoothness of <laughs> solves at the end and uh, it looks really really nice. Beautiful. Okay, now we are going to get right into the main part of the unboxing that are my new mains. So here are the new seven mains that I'm going to be unboxing. We have a clock, we have a cube, pyramids, square one, three by three, five by five and six by six. And I'm really pumped to get right into this. And um, first what I'm noticing is that the boxes are really quite dirty. And uh, I hope the cubes inside them won't be as dirty as the outside. Okay, so we're going to start with the most unexciting event. And it is the clock. We can always appreciate the, the bubble wrap. Because it's pretty satisfying. Uh, but let's get on to the puzzle. So this is the Rubik's clock. And turns actually quite nice
Well, I'm not the best clock solver, but there might be a problem <laughs> because I can't really... Okay, yep, I got it working. Okay, I think I just need to work, put some solves into this thing and then it's going to work just fine. But right now it's not really... The buttons are really hard to switch and... Uh, yep, this is Rupix clock. So this is the Moyu Wingies cube and uh, it is a concave cube uh, from QuietJ and as you can see the box is really dirty from the outside. Uh, let's hope that that is not the problem in the inside and I bet it's not because uh, there is another box in the box of the box of skew and I'm quite sure I ordered stickerless <laughs> skew but well that that's kind of sad I mean I'll take it <laughs> but it could be cooler oh my god yes <laughs> just just yes I think this is instantly my new main because it turns like a boss and wow it, fe it feels really nice I haven't um, done skew in quite some time because I've been training other ends like square one and uh, stuff like that but wow this boy turns like a boss and um, as I said the only problem is that it's not stickerless and I'm kind of disappointed I think I really did order a stickerless cube but <laughs> let's just hope the stickers won't come off and uh, I mean that'll do just fine okay next up we have the pyramids the X-Men Bell uh, pyramids uh, in stickerless because my main is kind of old and as you can see we have some extra magnets in here and uh, I just wanted to get new pyramids uh, as a backup or as other pyramids and yeah it's kind of looby from the outside and yep wow <laughs> it's really l l greasy from the outside but other than that wow it turns really good and oh look at the corner cutting oh my god well you can do this quite easily and uh, that's the only problem I think but wow this is a really nice puzzle and uh, it's quite satisfying I think I, I will need to uh, tension it a little a little because it's really loose right now and uh, yep YJ. Next up we have the again another uh, Kwaije puzzle. Kwaije? Chewy. Chi. I am so stupid. I just noticed that I haven't uh, talked in English for <laughs> quite some time. Basically all this all, um, all the summer. But <laughs> yeah, Chiwi. Chi. And Oh, I'm so stupid. Well, this is uh, the Chi puzzle is the X-Men Vault Square 1 and I'm really excited for this puzzle because I've been grinding non-stop Square 1. <laughs> Not non-stop, but quite a lot in the last few days and weeks. And uh, as you can see, it's a really beautiful stickerless scheme, <laughs> uh, stickerless cube and let's get right into it. Okay, I average cube around 30 seconds and it's kind of dirty from the outside. Not, not dirty, but lubed. And you can see the grease on it. Oh wow! Oh wow, it turns. It turns fantastic. Uh, it actually has some corner cutting. That is really good. and. I messed up the parity alg algorithm because I haven't done square one uh, like in two days practice but uh, I think this is going to change it and I will practice a little more okay 
So next up, we have the most, uh, actually, the ex most expensive puzzle in the whole unboxing. So this is the Waylong GTS version 2 M magnetic light. And uh, I average around 14 seconds and I got this puzzle just to, I'm not actually quite sure why I got this puzzle. And I know I ripped the box, but look at this. It's really beautiful right now. And I hope the $50 will be worth it. Uh, because it's really expensive and uh, let's see what's in here. So there's some stuff about Cubicle Labs and uh, that's Chris Tran. He is the Cubicle Labs manager or the guy who made magnetic cubes in the cubing community and uh, Okay, so we have a little cute cube stand here and uh, cubicle.us and uh, Nice logo right there and let's get right into the cube. Um, as I said, this is going to be my first impressions of a magnetic cube <laughs> because I haven't turned a 3x3, mag magnetic 3x3 ever. Well, I tried the, the, the GANs and I didn't like it. I hope I will like this one. It's quite heavy. Not, not like really heavy, but you can notice it. And uh, Oh my god, it's really looped from the outside, so I'll Okay, so uh, the video got corrupted and that's why I am re-unboxing these puzzles because this is right now This is like four or five days later and uh, Okay, so this is the Wuxiang 5x5 uh, Stickerless and I'm so excited for this cube because I really want a new 5x5 and I think this will do the trick Okay, so I've been really pumped for this 5x5 because uh, My last 5x5 was really bad and uh, yep so this is a few days later that is why it is kind of broken in and really good and uh, but first when i unboxed it it was nice although the corner cutting was not that good right now it's actually kind of awesome although if you try to cut it too much it, it all just locks up and i don't really like that because i've seen videos where it cuts ridiculous amounts of corner cutting and as you can see the reverse is also pretty nice but yeah i am really proud that i bought this cube okay so next up we have the wuha 6x6 and uh, yeah again i've al already unboxed it and done like five to ten solves on it i average around i don't know ten eight six minutes my pb is 547 and i'm really happy that i get it and uh, it is way better better than the shengshou 6x6 the outer layers are just incredible although sometimes it kind of locks up and that is not ideal because i've seen that it is the best 6x6 on the market uh, but if you try to turn two Harshly it locks up and that is not good. So That is the last cube on my un unboxing and uh, I will make another video right now uh, About my thoughts on the products or the cubes after a few days after a few hundred solves and a few of them and uh, That is why this unboxing is kind of bad <laughs> Because when I first unboxed these puzzles, they were like really bad. And I'm talking really bad. And uh, yep, but right now it is really good. And uh, yep, so thanks for watching. And I, and I hope to see you all next time.